friends, Andy Vegan. I make a new combination today. I have two fruit that are all in season, and uh, you get that means you get the most beautiful ones and the most inexpensive ones right now, and that's apricot and grapes. It's a combination. I didn't know if I had tried it before, but today I will anyway. And I tried it before. I thought, well, should I take a a uh, white or a black grape and I thought hmm tasting 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 of course black grape because the black grape the red grape has so much more um, flavor yeah, um, that goes nicely with the apricot the apricot has a sour flavor very intense very characteristic and it, it, it flows over with a sour flavor if you combine the apricot with the sour fruit for example it can happen that you don't like it anymore because it is all of a sudden too much sour. You know? uh, there is something in the apricot that has this sour character, if, especially if the uh, apricot is not super ripe and soft and some are very sweet. But usually uh, apricots have this special sour undertone, you know? very characteristic, that can come out and be very sour then. But the grape here is also a strong flavor as compared to the other color, the red and the white grapes. And the red grapes really have a very strong flavor that can really balance the apricot. That's what I found. And I mean, that's just a small finding, you know, but just about two different fruit, how they play together. And to me, that is all very valuable because I can make a new recipe now. I can try if that works. For the dressing, I make a cashew banana cream. And also here yeah, I have something special because the bananas here are frozen. So almost a ice cream. Yeah? Uh, that's nice. You can also take just regular bananas unfrozen. But I tried it before with the frozen bananas, the cream dressing. I tell you, it's very nice. Really, really nice. It gets more, the texture is different. It is a little bit ice creamier, yeah? so fluffy. And then the flavor also um, is different. You gotta try it, really, it's like a difference. And I will put um, a half a cup of cashews to it. It's a cashew cream, basically. Yeah, half a cup cashews, a little bit more than half a cup. Um, I, you, you don't need, have to use this uh, together with bananas. The bananas make it a little bit creamier, sweeter, lighter. Yeah, cashews have a lot of fat and protein, a little bit too. And the bananas, they scale it down a little bit and make it lighter. And also fluffier here. The texture is not so creamy, it's fluffier, with the especially with the frozen bananas. And to, to light up the bananas, to make them a little bit more complex in flavor, I add a half a lemon. That gives so much to the, to the banana. The banana um, doesn't always have the same flavor. It can really change its flavor. Uh, to uh, with regard to the other ingredients you put into it, and lemon is perfect for that. Yeah. For example, orange would be absolutely difficult with banana. With the orange, it can happen that the banana tastes all of a sudden bitter. Yeah, you don't like it. I didn't. So, the lemon is a whole different story. I always put, if I can, a lemon into a banana. So, here, half a lemon, half a cup of cashews, and maybe two or three frozen bananas. And a little bit of water to make it go. Yeah. I may have to use a little bit more later. But now the first blender dance. Let's see if it works with the frozen banana, the special here. Looks nice, it's runny. Maybe, maybe I even used a little bit too much water, but it doesn't really matter. No, it's okay. But the coolness from the banana is very nice. Hmm. Wow. That's very nice. I wait for a second before I do the second cleaning to get the cashews really creamy. And then also the flavor will be at its best. But the mixture, the, the ratio is nice 
half a cup of cashews, two bananas frozen and a half a lemon. That's okay. So now I put here the apricots and the red grapes here together. You see these pieces are small. Uh, here also I cut it, um, the grapes into half. That makes it, I find for fruit salad, that makes it a little nicer. Fruit salads um, is, is, a, is a lot of work to make a fruit salad, a nice one. Yeah, this is a bit too fruit here, basically in the main 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 part. And um, but you have to cut every single fruit into small pieces. You have to wash it a little bit, pit it, and then you have to cut it. That takes some time, so that's really something you have to do with for a fruit salad. But I feel it's so rewarding to have a wonderful, colorful fruit salad. And you know, I always make different combinations. That every single fruit salad I make now is a little bit different again. So much fun. So one more blending to make it really creamy. Blend your hands. I don't want to blend it too long because it, I want to have the, simple, the, the coolness here of the dressing. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. The texture is even better. Because it's soaked a little bit. Mm. Wow. I like so much the frozen banana here. Here. Look at this. The beautiful colors here, the red and the orange. And here the white creaminess. White cream is so blue and beautiful with apricots especially. Also the sweet flavor of the cream. Cream is perfect with the apricots. I made a once I made a white chocolate cake with apricots. I'm gonna check that out, that's very nice. I have some nice life cakes here, life bakery on my YouTube channel. Recently I didn't make that many. I just felt like having fruit salads, salads, soups and so. Not so much um, cakes but comes soon again I guess. I'm already looking for something that I could do but I have some nice cakes you can check it out. Life bakery or cake on MD Vegan. you look for find nice cakes. One with the white chocolate, very nice. <laughs> yeah, the color here with the apricot um, is really, um, I like it a lot to, to look at these colors. And they, they also have a wonderful flavor together. Um, the white sweet cream and a little bit sour um, orange apricot. Now here together with the red grapes. I can't wait to try this. And it is a wonderful breakfast. Yeah, there's a lot of nutrition in there. And yeah, with the nuts, the different fruit. Here, that's what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it's like in the it's like a mountain uh, with ice and snow on the tops or something like that. It looks so nice. I, that's what I thought when I, when I saw it just, just right now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe and leave on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. It's easy. Just make a small change on one recipe and you have a new one. Yeah. Of course, you have to find the basic combination, like here, like here, a red grape and an apricot. And it's not a lot thing to think about, yeah, here, what does that mean, yeah, red grape, white grape? No, it makes a significant difference to pick the red grape for the apricot, not the, not the white one. I mean, these, these small things, everybody can check out for themselves, you know, you taste it, you like it, you do it, very easy. And so, I have a new recipe every single day for you. Thanks again. Thanks again. I hope you like. And if you want to like me, find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, and me vegan now to be in many places for you.